Hey class, I'm Mr Thornton, and I'm going to help you get that C in your GCSE. This lesson, Voltage Current Graphs. This topic was requested by Ruben Demby, George Harris, Harrison Grant, Ollie Lennox, Little Susie, Nina Nicole, Hannah Lucy, and Jali Mabubani, Holly Wilkinson, and Loopy Lou 4030. Thanks guys. If you've got a topic that you'd like me to cover, then just leave a comment below. I'm going to assume you already know the different circuit components which you need to be familiar with, but if you need to check my previous video on that topic, then you can click just here. Now, there are three circuit components which you need to have a slightly deeper understanding of. What you need to understand is what happens as you increase the potential difference across that component. Remember, potential difference, we're pretty much talking about voltage there. They're more or less the same thing. You will see the term potential difference when you do GCSE exams, though. So, those three components are a simple resistor, a filament bulb, and a diode and you need to understand what happens to the current as that potential difference across the component is increased. And this is normally represented with one of three graphs. So let's run through those. So let's start out with the resistor. This is the easiest one. We get the graph like this. And all this means that for a fixed resistance at fixed temperature, as you double the potential difference, what you do is you double the current through it. If you triple the potential difference, you will triple the current through it. If you reverse the potential difference, you reverse the current through it. With that in mind, let's return to our filament bulb. Now we get a similar graph for this, but not quite the same. Now at foundation tier, you don't need to worry about why we get this curved graph. You just need to know that this curved graph is the one for a filament bulb. At higher tier, they might ask you why the graph is this shape. All that's happening is that as the wire in the filament bulb gets hot, its resistance increases. So at low temperatures, before it starts getting hot, it behaves pretty much like our normal resistor. But at higher temperatures, its resistance increases, and so doubling the potential difference doesn't double the voltage anymore, because that resistance has increased, so not as much current can get through. And it's got rotational symmetry, which means that it works exactly the same if you plug it into the circuit back to front. Finally, there's our graph for the diode. And remember, we've already said the diode only lets electricity go around the circuit in one direction. That's exactly what this graph shows us. So if we've got a negative potential difference applied to it, it doesn't let any current flow at all. If we've got a positive potential difference applied to it, once we've got over a small initial value of potential difference, then it allows the electricity to start flowing. And it allows quite a lot of electricity to start flowing, so generally speaking, that line is quite steep when you see this graph. And that's all that you need to know about exactly what this means. I hope that video really helps you. If you want to check how well you understood, then try the snap quiz. The link is right here, and it'll also be in the description, along with all the other links for this video. If you want to check out my other videos, then click right here. If you want to download the free app I've made to help you with your revision, then you can click right here. If you want to subscribe to my channel, then you can click right here. Don't forget to leave likes, and if you go to the comments, you can give me feedback and let me know which topics you'd like me to cover next. Good luck in your GCSEs everyone, and thanks very much for watching.